Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Citizen video. Well, no, actually this will be the first normal video going up on my channel. So, hello everyone and welcome to a Star Citizen video. Uh, hello to all the people who came over from my last channel. Hopefully this project goes well. Anyway, what we'll be talking about is a vehicle, a new vehicle you might have missed that has already been teased. So what am I talking about? Now, back at CitizenCon, there was a part about the new underground facilities. We saw a lot of images and a little early 3D work. But there was something hiding among these concepts. Not really hiding, but kind of hiding among these concepts. Some of you may have seen and dismissed it, and maybe some of you overlooked it. And no, I'm not talking about the countless OSHA violations. I'm talking about the new vehicle, the big yellow guy that's been hiding among several of these images. Now, how do I know this is a new vehicle and not just some random piece of art that they, the artist decided to do? Well, we have a couple of reasons. One of them is, well, just look at it. It looks way higher quality than most of the background random vehicles that just have wheels and most of their concept arts. And it looks shockingly similar to something we already have. And if you like this kind of exploratory video, why don't you subscribe? And hey, if you're enjoying the video, let me know by liking the vid. So back in September, we got this little tidbit in the feature gameplay section of the Squadron 42 monthly report. In the second paragraph it says, for the crane feature, the devs used inverse kinematics to link the player's hands to the joystick so they animate together. They also add additional features for designers such as snapping and linking. Now, it says crane feature. Now, this could be technically a static crane. However, this is not a vehicle that we really have, and we actually need something like this in the verse. Well, I go to the cargo decks, you might say, and I see all those... Uh, those crane things around there. Why don't we just use those? You're right, we do have those, but those are very in-warehouse kind of things. We don't have in, like a terrain-based one, something we do use an output. But we also have no vehicle to do the job of a crane. We also have a tr the tractor beam and cargo refactor becoming a bigger feature that would fit this in nicely. So where is the Mule DS or Mule Crane? Well, the SRV, the handheld industrial tractor beam, and the whole C are all in different states of waiting, I suspect, for the game to be able to support these bigger SCU containers. Because why would you use a giant mobile crane on giant wheels that's you know the size of two mules on top of each other and maybe three long with a giant boom arm if you could just do it yourself? So it would make sense if we were waiting on bigger gameplays where you have to move ship size things or 32 SCU containers without needing to pull out an SRV, the tow truck vehicle, to actually move a single container. So this actually makes a lot of sense to me. But I'm also curious, what do you think? Am I stretching a bit too far on this one? Do you think that this is a vehicle we will actually be getting at some point? Let me know down in the comments. And guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope to do many more of this. The idea is a tutorial on Tuesday, normal video on... Friday, and then we'll be streaming every day at 8 p.m. except for Thursday and Friday. That is all for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, be kind.